Hello Capricorn, we're getting ready to do your reading. So this is a reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Capricorn. My name is Donna, and I want to ask all of you to make a comment below. Tell me where you're watching the video from, because I am broadcasting from Chicago, and I was an international flight attendant traveling the globe for many years, and I just have so much fun knowing I also answer comments. So your overall energy, Capricorn, what is going on? Five of Cups. You're feeling sad and lonely. What's happening in this reading? Okay, that's a mutual energy between your partner and yourself at this time. So let's see here what's going on. So we're going to get your energy. So you're feeling Wheel of Fortune. Okay, rambling, gambling, Wheel of Fortune. You're really allowing spirit to sort of just bring luck in, hop on, hop off. So let's see what else we have in terms of this relationship reading. The hanged man, a wait and see attitude, not taking any action, looking at things from a different perspective, Pisces energy. This is Sagittarius energy. Five of cups is the energy of Scorpio, feeling a sense of loss. Okay, well, what else is in your energy? Ah, the Queen of Wands, fiery, passionate, really out there, on the cutting edge, having fun, lots of laughter, feeling good, looking good, bossing up in career. Your person's energy, Five of Wands. They feel conflicted. They feel a sense of struggle. That is not a horrible card. Five of Wands is oftentimes sort of like they feel like they're in conflict somehow, or they're in competition, maybe for your attention. This is kind of like the really fun grudge match at the end of the holiday, you know, okay, we're all fat from dinner, let's go play tag football, or in the summertime, let's go have a family um, grudge match. Uh, and it's all in good nature, but your person's feeling like they're being put in a situation that does not make them happy. Three of swords, your person is either putting you in the energy, it could be vice versa as always, uh, but the Three of Swords says that they're broken hearted, they feel as though they're being placed in an energy that they don't like. Judgment, okay, Justice card. For some of you, you may be the other person in a third party situation. You may be waiting to see what's going to happen. You may have to compete for your person. You're letting the Wheel of Fortune take the leadership role in this situation. The Justice card, though, is a filing of paperwork, my friends, balancing things out. Libra energy. Three of Swords is Libra energy. Okay. Five of Wands is Leo energy. Feeling some pride. So there's a lot of fire here. So let's look and see what the overall energy is from Spirit in this relationship reading. And then we'll clarify the cards, and then we'll also look at your outcome, and we'll clarify the outcome on all levels. Okay, so we see power, dragon power, nice energy. So the relationship is feeling, you feel like you're part of a power couple, that the two of you could be very good together, and you're missing each other. Okay, we also have refuge. Okay, so you find one another to be a port in the storm, a place where you feel safe, a place that you enjoy, a place of enjoyment, relaxation, and fire spirit, lots of sexual chemistry, lots of passionate energy with each other. So let's see what the clarifiers are Oops, for the Five of Cups. Okay, so let's see. Five of Cups energy. Why are both of you feeling sad and lonely? You're missing each other. You're feeling like you haven't seen each other in a while. Ace of Coins, you want to make an offer. This relationship is calling for someone to make a specific offer. Mother of Cups, a deep love. Cancerian energy, Earth sign energy. It speaks to the fact that you're both feeling very sad because you want to be together. Um, we get the Father of Wands, which is Leo Energy, the King of Wands. Both of you have a lot of fire and passion in your belly for one another. You want to be together, and you aren't currently together. So let's see what we have here for the Wheel of Fortune. Ten of Coins. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Coins are cards of prosperity, 
cards cards of abundance being good having good luck in marriage because this is a legacy marriage card ten of coins speaks to the fact that the energy that you're bringing in capricorn is that you are in a stable situation you feel lucky to be there in this relationship you feel that this could be your person um what else do we have for how you feel about them the hermit card you haven't told them it's keeping everything to yourself so but you're also in this energy capricorn of keeping a secret about what you think the potential is or just not speaking it all right tell us something about this hanged man what is the hanged man energy what's what are you waiting for Ooh, to move forward rapidly. Interesting. That's a chariot card. The emperor drives a chariot card. That is making a decision. That is absolutely making a decision to say to your person, honey, I'm home. And it means ending something, giving up a burden. So I think for many of you with the justice card and the three of swords, five of a want, I think that you may be married, you may be in a legacy marriage where you've built a lot of abundance and a lot of wealth and you don't want to be left in the cold or you don't want to be alone here. But what I see is that you're looking at this all from a different perspective and now you don't want the burden. You want this passion. You want the you want your person. You love each other. You want to make an offer. You're sad without each other. Why is the Queen of Wands here? hanged man energy <laughs> you're you have not taken action towards your person and that's what i see is happening father of pentacles you want to that's a daddy card husband card you want to nurture your person you want to take good care of them you want to bring them into an abundant happy uh, legacy relationship so what you want with this person has not really been disclosed and you do not want to be left in the cold. Five of Coins Energy says that if you leave this person out in the cold long enough, that you'll actually be competing for their attention. That if they're broken hearted and you don't really take action, um, then you're going to be left in the cold. So this can also be vice versa because it does show that you. this could all be flipped on you. But I see you both might be married, uh, but I'm just going to read it the way I see it straight up okay so the five of wands energy why is the five of wands energy here death card okay so your person wants an ending to feeling like they're competing they do not like that energy they don't plan on staying in it yep three of swords they oh wow look at this your person is your person could end their relationship with you uh, i don't necessarily think they might give you an ultimatum. They will certainly let you know that they're, this is too toxic for them. Okay, three of swords, three of swords. So your person is really, that's why you would be feeling sad. Both of you are feeling sad. But we see the Capricorn there you are in your reading. Major Arcana. Your person feels manipulated. They feel like it's painful. They feel like it's almost a punishing situation in which they can't get any satisfaction. Sounds like Mick Jagger. Can't get no satisfaction. Okay, four of cups, three of, three of swords. They do not like the toxicity. They feel as though this is a poisonous jab, a poisonous um, sword in their heart. Three of swords, three of swords. They feel as though you hold back on your emotions. They feel as though you're you're toxic because you don't really give them any love. The son of swords is they have a lot to speak to, to you, to say to you. Let's see if they actually do it. That's rushing in to speak to you, Capricorn. They are invested, but what I'm seeing here is that I do think that they're going to tell you how they feel. They feel really, really undone. Not undone, but sad. And sad enough to make a decision to leave the relationship, to break it off with you. The Justice card says that they're willing to work on the relationship more, but they definitely want fair treatment, fair and balanced. They have the truth. They want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. This is the seventh house of Libra. They want marriage. They want long-term commitment. They're willing to work towards it, but they have great clarity that, you know, what they will and won't do. The Father of Swords says that like a surgeon with a knife they can cut they can use their intellect to cut you out of their life because it's the only thing or the only option they feel that is left available to them based on what they know 
and the Seven of Cups, they're very confused. You know, they just they don't want to have to keep their options open. They don't like that idea, but they will do it. So let's look and see what the outcome is for you at this time in this relationship reading. Let's see. Two of Cups, wow. Okay, so the two of you really making a commitment. That is the Rider weight. Uh, you know, let's give our hearts to one another card. It can be up to it, including marriage. It is a soulmate of the Minor Arcana, but it is sharing your love together. Speaking love, sharing it. Look at this. The ten Both of you tend to be very stoic. The King of Cups energy is Scorpio. So that means something has to die off before the two of you can have the Two of Cups, <clears throat> which is what I see happening here in this Justice card energy potential for it because Capricorn, you want to make this person an offer. They want to receive an offer. So we have the Scorpio King here staying cool, calm, collected, sort of willing to wait out the storm for the ships to arrive in the harbor. The Page of Pentacles is a small offer and oh nice the intention to keep moving forward when we look at virgo energy it's very reliable energy it's the energy that turns into the king of pentacles so when we get this virgo energy it's very powerful because the two of you the outcome is is that the two of you make a commitment to work on the relationship and to move forward in a very steady rational way in which the two of you can uh, manifest what you want in the relationship. So we're going to look at the heart of the fairy oracle, which tells me sort of the dark side and the light side, the good, the bad, the mayhem, the merriment, the magic, whatever's going on here. This will help enlighten us about what you can't see because we don't see fairies typically. Usually they're hidden. So let's see what's hidden in the fairy, the heart of the fairy. Why is the Five of Cups here? The fairies want you to be happy most of the time. The Queen of Passage, okay. The Queen of Passage is the energy of going to the next level and trusting spirit to have this beautiful queen lead you through this passage. It does It does involve some a mourning. She's kind of wearing a veil, you know, it's shrouded. So it is, it can be very painful to have to give up something from the past, a sense of stability to clear the way for the future, but you have it, the energy's here. The Ten of Wands, what do you feel so overwhelmed about, Virgo? Excuse me, not Virgo, Capricorn. Two minds, it's hard for you to make a decision. I mean, what, you know, when I get, when I get you Capricorn, you always like to be very solid and you're finding it very painful What's hanging you out to dry is that you can rationalize or debate with yourself endlessly about the situation. Why do you feel, what's this Queen of Wands about? The thief, okay. So you feel, Capricorn, that you are stealing pleasure. You are stealing pleasure with somebody who does not really belong to you, that at the end of the day, you know, you haven't given them what you want or what they want or what you want. They haven't given it to you. But the, the thief is you're stealing also happiness from yourself. You're stealing this person's, you know, gifts that they're bringing to you. So you don't feel good about yourself is what I'm getting. One more card. You do feel like your person is extraordinary. They're magical. They're like a unicorn unlike any other. So that's you really, you know, you have a, a very high level of demand in a relationship. And so you want the exotic, you want the fantastic, you want the best of the best. Okay, so why do we have the death card, the three of swords, and the devil card? Why is it here? The lady of faith, okay. So you feel as though your person is somebody who has really given you a lot of great energy. You absolutely adore them for their playfulness, for their wisdom, for their kindness. Um, why is it that you think that they're, excuse me, I have a dry throat. Um, why do you think that they'll leave you? Perk up your ears, things that they've said to you, 
are leading you to understand that they may be returning to someone else or an old way of life. They may be going back to the time when, you know, you weren't in their life and returning to a sense of themselves. And I just dropped a bunch of very wonderful cards, which is always meaningful. So I'm going to pick them up and I'm going to present them to you. And let's see what we have. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so telling. Okay. So the energy of the three of swords, a four of cups, your person really wants to say that they sort of think that you like having two people. The captive man is like, well, I'm not really available to you. And, you know, I have all these things that are holding me back and, you know, I can't really choose you and I don't really have a choice about not choosing you. And their sense is, is that if you embrace the mystical, if you're very spiritual, that this relationship could grow, that you could get yourself out. But the captive man kind of likes having people fight over them. Okay, it could be male, feminine energy or whatever. But we also see that we get the queen of laughter. They are very much uh, taking away the, you know, the laughter that they you've given. So your person really feels very much that they're going to go on with their life. This is the queen of hearth and home. You're dealing with somebody who's very special, queen of the day. They're not going to tolerate being in this situation for and on, you know, for an undefined period of time. It's become too painful. It's too difficult. They want to be happy. This is a very quality person, somebody who could attract a lot of people. And so they just don't want to be in this energy. Again, this could be vice versa. For those of you who know tarot well and watch it, if you're new to it, that's something you need to know about a general reading. So let's look and see what the energy is here for the outcome. So I want to only look at the negative. The Two of Cups is very clear cut. It's very simple. But why do we have the King of Cups? We have the Queen of Cups here. So you're both very emotional about each other. The Juggler. Oh, my God. I mean, come on. The Juggler is all about the situation at hand. Is it one person's in a third party situation? Or well, both of you are in the third party situation. But the Juggler means that you know, they feel juggled. Both of you feel juggled. One, both, however many, but it's causing a lot of pain because the love is very deep, but Scorpio represents death and we have the death and the, you know, we have the death card here. So what do we have here for the Virgo energy of moving forward slowly? A heartless love. Okay. So the outcome at this time is that your person is only going through the motions while they move steadily forward in their life. Uh, it looks like you're moving steadily forward in your life, but what happen, What has to happen here is that you have to both recognize a gift in each other and be willing to not be juggled and to not be in some sort of situation. You know, and you hear this with a captive man all the time. Well, I can't leave my kids, the da, 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 da. And those are, you know, those are reasonable things to say. Those are considerations that if a person didn't make them, there'd be something wrong and you wouldn't want them anyway. But what I do get is that what has to go here, what's, what's creating the problem is that you can't have the gift of what this love offers uh, unless somebody gives up a heartless love or a, a marriage of convenience or a marriage that doesn't have any love left in it. So let's look at your destiny right now, Capricorn. Let's see what we have here. Your destiny for the short term right now, a week, you know, whatever period of time, uh, is that narrow pathway. Tread thoughtfully. Whatever decisions you are making right now are going to, to push your person to take a different action than you might want them to take. So tread carefully for you and for your person we have Embracing enthusiasm, shout to the heavens with happiness. So your person is being called upon by spirit. The destiny that they're choosing right now is to be happy and to go out and to have fun and to be jubilant and joyful. And, um, you know, they don't, they're not going to be juggled. And that's part of what we see. So Capricorn, hoping it helped. Please leave comments. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.